welcome to a new video of my Unity MMO tutorial series. And yeah, in the last lecture, I showed you um, how to create, uh, yeah, how to create a race selection. And yeah, in this lecture, I um, won't show you new stuff of this one. In this video, I will explain how everything works and um, talk a little bit about some errors mm, I got, got from some users of my community. Okay, at the beginning um, I will tell you something about the we start the main server. And you can see this this window here and if you don't see anything so if you only see a black screen um then you have an error with your with your nlock config and yeah this is because of of this target so you need to add the cc um console but um if you don't have this um, log file you can join my discord server um, I have added it there so you can see um, this one there another thing is um, about the user repository and it's quite simply uh, because Okay, um yeah there's an error because um of the in the user repository and yeah this is because uh you need to yeah how oh, I can explain um you have the read only configuration uh root and this is for this class. This is only private read, so you cannot access on any other c uh, classes so you have to say that your configuration um, is this configuration in the user repository so you create the configuration from our configuration service and um, so you um, can access um, sorry um, this is one so you can access the config JSON file yeah, you have the connection strings here and the my SQL. And in the user repository, you have to. Um, so if you have connection problems with authentication, um, you you have to um, do correction with with the connection string. So you have to see um, that you use this configuration in this line of code here. And you have to uh, configure uh, your configuration like this one. So this is a constructor. Every um, this will only load if you load the class. And um, yeah, now when uh, if you have no errors, uh, if you have the error with a connection string, you need to check every file if you have um, no error spelling so if you go to the config json you have to call it connection strings not connections strings or something else so um you need to have the right spelling yeah and um um now i can tell you something about how it works so we go to the connection handler and to the unity um to the unity uh program and um as you can see is black everything it's because of the because uh, i did some ch changes here in the file and yeah now 
Unity need to compile it. I will build it and as you can see we built four successful and now everything is there. So if you go here and log in and you run the um in the server uh, in the client you run the client manager the execute function and then you connect to the server and send with this one the password and the user to the server and um this one to the server then you need to go to the server and go to the handle login function yeah you can um you now you get the um login data so the past object data is that one you have sent to the server and yeah if the user exists um or not exists then you can return so um we we won't have one you can type an error message here uh, in it but um we we don't need an error message yet i can uh, tell i can add a add something here so we can say user doesn't exist but i guess we have this in the and we have this in the uh, in the logger I, we don't need it here okay and then uh, we will ask if the password um is wrong um so we have the in in our user repository it jumps here and you jump in this one and you connect to the database and ask um check if the um password here it's the same in the um you have typed in and if it's um wrong you you um yeah you post this one so if it's the um wrong the server will type um wrong password or you can i think we don't need it here as well and if the password is right um you the server sent the login response package with um is valid and then we can go back to the client manager and then we um go to this line so um now we read the login response or we get it and as you can see here um in the unity debug um log console um it's this one um you get a um message with a white message i call it because we have um three types of messages in unity um it's this one and this one you will get like this and you have the warnings and the errors and yeah you will get um this type and in this type you uh, you get um the package type you um um got um send it back and here you get the variable um true or false so if if it's um if everything is okay you get um true and if everything is um wrong you get another one okay and then um you run this function and this function is here and then you load another scene this is everything um our server does and if you want to expand it you have only add um the package implementations so here is here are the attributes or the classes you you call um if you get the communication package um login request so you have to define it here in the communication package and yeah if you uh, get this one um 
yeah, you have a response and a request. We changed um, the race stuff into realm because we have the race in the yeah in the, in the other stuff in the Yuma. Okay, and yeah, I hope I can um, I could solve some problems you got. And if you really don't understand what I am doing here. You can join my Discord server or leave it in the comments. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, you can um, click on the thumbs up and yeah, maybe leave a good comment for me. Uh, we will see us in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.